Hello Taurus, welcome to Tarot So Fine. Today I'm doing your general tarot card reading for Monday, June 29, 2020 to Sunday, July 5th, 2020. And I'll be using the Tarot de la Nuit for your message. So let's see what the cards reveal for you. What does Taurus need to know during this time? What does Taurus need to know? See what the cards reveal for you. What does Taurus need to know at this time? Oops. Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Cups. We'll see if those come up again. One more shuffle. Okay, first card is the Queen of Cups. Second card is the Moon. Third card is the Nine of Cups. Lots of water in your reading so far. Fourth card is the Eight of Cups. Wow, all Four cups. The Hermit is your bottom card. Let's see what we have. What else we have here? I've been diving deeper into the bottom cards lately, so we'll see. Underneath the Hermit, there was the Eight of Swords, the Chariot, the Three of Wands, the Three of Swords. We'll see if they uh, fit in with your reading here. Let me have a look at your cards for a second. You have three major arcanas here. You have the Hermit, the Moon, the, the Chariot, so they're important to your reading. I'm noticing uh, the Moon here. Okay, so I feel like you've been spending a lot of time in reflex, reflect, reflexation. <laughs> that's, I don't think that's even a word. Reflection, inner reflection here. I feel like it's a really emotional time for you because I'm seeing a lot of cups and the moon is water element the chariot is water element and it has a big moon in it too, as well I think you're um, you're feeling stuck like I think it's probably this pandemic thing. Um, it's probably getting to you. 
it's um I get the impression that you feel like it's preventing you from going after your dreams things you want and you may feel lonely sometimes there's something bothering you you're not I don't see you as being uh, that happy but you have the nine of cups so that's a really good card to have in your reading and the chariot um, this is an odd reading I really get a sense of isolation even if you're not alone you feel alone sometimes uh, you're alone with your thoughts your worries uh, you're going through a time when you feel like like your hands are tied like you can't do everything you want to do you can't have everything you want to have I feel like um, maybe you need to get out of your head a bit and uh, interact with others more and uh, you know get out go somewhere that makes you feel good do what it is that you can there's always something we can do um, Because this is not a good feeling. This won't apply to everyone. It seems really specific in an ambiguous kind of way. This is the most ambiguous reading I think I've ever done. I don't know. Um, it's more of a feeling. Well, there's a lot of cups here, so... I get the feeling that you're feeling like the things that you want, that you wish for, are taken away from you. They're, they're not. You're not allowed to have them for, you know, for some reason. I, I, I think it's probably the pandemic. It's, it's probably getting to you. Maybe some of you need to go for a, a drive or, you know, like, um, just get out of your environment a little bit. Try and get out and uh, communicate with people that understand you, that care about you. Because I feel like... Um, If you do nothing, you could slip into, you could slip into uh, a depression, negative thoughts. See these three cards, they're strongly suggesting to me that you need to um, get a change of scenery. The Eight of Cups goes for their happiness, and this is the happiness card, Eight of Cups, Nine of Cups. So instead of, instead of getting too comfortable in your internal emotions, like that's fine, but if you stay there too long, you might drown in it, right? 
instead of um, getting lost in your imagination, like imagining the worst, because after the Eight of Swords, you know, if you feel like you can't do anything, then uh, you may start to believe that there's always something you can do. You're in control of your own happiness here. You're in control of your own happiness. I think you've spent a lot of time uh, reflecting on things over the years, over your life, and uh, the past is the past. It's time to move forward and to be optimistic about the future. With the Three of Wands here, she's waiting for her ships to come in, so my nose is itchy. So it's telling me uh, to expect. I'm reading it differently in the context of your reading. Um, expect the best. Because if you expect the worst, sometimes you bring it on yourself. So expect the best. Because if you expect the worst, then you get the worst heartache. So don't do that to yourself. Things always change, and they can easily change for the better if you're not feeling too good about the present uh, situations, like for yourself or, you know, the world in general, then, uh, you know, things always change. So you have to be strong and change your focus. Focus on where you want to go. Focus on where you want to go, not where you don't want to go. See? Don't go here. So that's the message I'm getting for you. So I think your reading is more like a, a pep talk, you know? Um, somebody out there needs needs a big hug, I think. Um, do what you can, that's all you can do, and uh, look towards better times ahead if you're going through a difficult time where you're worried or you feel restricted somehow. Um, yeah, that's what I'm getting for you. I think there's a new moon coming up. The new moon on the 5th, the 5th or the 7th, hmm, that's a good time to start things. Anyways, um, that's your reading for the week, so hang in there, stay strong and stay optimistic and do what you can and uh, look to, to better times. So that's your reading. <laughs> so um, I hope it helped. And uh, if, if you want, look at your moon, rising, and Venus for more information. So give me your comments, give me a like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you for the following reads. Bye for now.